Hectic. Welcome to Hectic. Thank you. Very yes, it's so good to have you in the H9 building today as we are trying to get more educated in terms of different things that happen in the medical field, right? Yeah. Cool. So talk to us about what you do as a medical scientist on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so we basically work hand in hand with the doctor. So if you go to the doctor and he takes a blood sample or any sample with uh -huh. a biopsy, it gets sent off to the lab and that's where we come in. Cool. So we then analyze and help to make the doctor a final diagnosis. Nice. Okay, cool. So you've brought um, a few of the tools that you use, right? So can you talk to us about what you've brought and show us how it actually works? Okay, so I'm going to start off with uh, the blood collection tubes. Okay. Okay, so you can see they are different color capped. Yes. So the purple one, for example, is the EDTA one. Okay? Mm -hmm. So like I, I explained to you, um, when you take blood out of your body uh -huh. and you send it off to the lab, it still needs to be viable. Okay, okay so cool. what these tubes contain, they contain an anticoagulant because you don't want the blood to clot on the way to the lab. Yes, okay, yes. So the EDTA is the component in the tube to help keep the blood viable for us to get accurate results. Oh, nice. Right? Okay, cool. And what else do you have? We've got the microscope. Yes. Um, this is a commonly used tool within the lab. Mm -hmm. um, the slide over here, that I brought with me. So this is a blood smear. Okay, so the blood is collected in the tube. What okay. we then do, we get the blood onto the slide, we stain it, as you can see, it's got a nice purple stain. Yes, yes. Okay. We then fix it onto the microscope, mm -hmm. place it in like that. And then you need to get it to a certain angle. Okay, you cool. find focus, and then you'll see all the cool things that's in the blood. Cool. So, so what are we seeing? So I'm looking at White blood cells, plate, plate, no, get some of platelets, uh -huh. red blood cells. Um, those are all the main different components within the blood. Nice, that's super cool. So what else do you have? You okay, so, so cool. we've got a pipette, okay. A pipette. Commonly, yes, this is uh -huh. a pipette commonly used in a chemistry lab and a biology lab, mm -hmm. okay. So you can set it to an accurate volume, okay. So this is your disposable pipette tips. Okay, cool. So you pick up the pipette, okay, mm -hmm. and then you then any solution, any liquid, whether it's blood, whether it's a solution, uh -huh. you can then pick it up and transfer it to another tube. Oh, okay? so this helps you pick up the volume accurately. Exactly. Oh, okay, cool. Exactly. And then we've got our petri dishes over here, mm -hmm. okay? Commonly known to us in the lab as agar plates. Okay. The one that I have over here is a chocolate agar plate. As you okay. can see, it's got a nice chocolatey color. Yes. Okay. So what is actually there? Okay, so just like humans, that require nutrients, uh -huh. so does a bacteria. A bacteria require nutrients as well to oh, grow. Nice. Okay. okay. So these plates contains all those necessary nutrients for the bacteria to grow. So we oh. grow and culture them on here, uh. identify it, and then send it off to the doctor, and then the doctor will then prescribe the necessary treatment or antibiotics to cure the patient. Nice, super cool. So um, what else are you gonna show me? Oh, the yeah. last one, this is your sample cup. Okay. Um, so like I said earlier, you go to the doctor and he takes a sample. So whether yes. it's a urine sample or a sputum sample, gets collected into this and then sent off to us in the lab. Nice, so these are the things you work with daily, right? Yes. So for anyone who maybe is interested in the profession that you are doing um, from school level already, what should they be thinking about? If you've got a interest in life science or biology, or if you are fascinated with how the human body works mm -hmm. or um, how it functions, then this would be the perfect career for you. Nice. Um, I mean, that is how I got into med lab science. Uh -huh. I was always fascinated with how the human body works. Yes. Um, so you I'm, have to be super curious. For well, it. yeah, you yeah. have to have a, an interest uh -huh. in science. Um, but it's an absolutely beautiful course. Nice. Kawi, thank you so much for joining us. You are absolutely amazing. That is a medical scientist, Kawi Swartz. He is in the H9 building. So if you guys have any questions, definitely hit us up. H9.co.za um, is the website, but Hectic um, Health is the hashtag to use online. Right now, quick commercial break. Do not go anywhere because when we come back, we bring you some tips and tricks on how you can stay away from getting any sicknesses or the flu this winter. So definitely do keep it locked. Nine, nine, hectic. Nine, nine, hectic.